in this lesson we'll learn how to find square root graph of an algebraic equation and Pythagorean theorem so let's get started the first thing we need to find um, the square root of different numbers so square root of uh, 25 is 5 so that means you need to find a number multiplied by itself will give you 25 so that is the square root of um, that particular number so square root over 81 is 9 because 9 times 9 equal to 81 the same way how to add a 2 square root so if you have a uh, 2 square root if you want to combine you need to make sure that inside of the square root are the same so you see you have you have 5 here 5 there so that way only that way you could add if you are different you cannot add and when you add them you just need to add only the outside not inside so that will give you 8 plus 5 is sorry 8 plus 3 is 11 is square root over 5 so, something like that so 3x plus 2x equal to 5x right so we did not change anything in the x so that's the same way it doesn't matter what i have after the number it will be the same thing so the same way if you subtract you need to subtract only the outside uh, you cannot subtract uh, whatever you have in inside right so that is 9 minus 3 is 6 is square root over 3 okay so let me give you a couple of problem you try by yourself so I have two three problem here you try to do by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer that I got okay so how to multiply square root when you multiply the square root you need to multiply inside and outside also if you have so let's do that so that will give you square root over three times square root over five that will give you square root over 15. so now this same way so square root over seven times square root over five so that will give you square root over 35. so if you have a square root uh, something in outside and also inside you need to multiply outside with outside and inside with inside so that will give you 3 times 2 is 6 is square root over 4 times 5 is 20 but you could you could simplify that one a little bit more so 6 you could split that into two numbers and one of them has to be a perfect square number the perfect square number is 2 is square equal to 4 3 is square equal to 9 4 is square equal to 16 so those are the perfect square number so you could split that um uh, this 20 so you could write 4 times 5 so what is the square root over 4 you know 2 right so that will give you 6 times 2 is square root over 5 so if you simplify that that will give you 6 times 2 is 12 is square root over 5 okay yeah this is your turn you try by yourself and see what you get and make sure that you get the same answer that I get. If you get it, it should be good. Go to the next topic. So now we'll learn how to do graph of a um, of an equation. Okay. So uh, in that case, so we have three different equation here. Three uh, x plus five y. So so how to how do I know a line is a straight line or a curve? If you have a so this is you have. 3x plus 5y right so it doesn't have any x exponent so if it doesn't have x exponent so that will be a straight line okay so its exponent is 1 exactly 1 so that will give you a straight line otherwise it won't give you the exit let me just open a um, um, online calculator and that will show you a little bit